Today's video is all about uh, coding using Pro Tool uh, in an X5 E70 which doesn't have a factory loaded cruise control unit. Previously I had used ThinkDive 2 and I failed uh, coding from that so I need to remove that option now from Pro Tool. So first thing is that connect it using K plus DCAN cable which is for E-series and uh, this is pretty much uh, straightforward and easy it'll take less than five minutes to do the coding uh, you don't have to connect a battery um, if your uh, current car battery is good no need to connect a charger as well so first thing multi ECU the first option click on that and you can see vehicle order go to vehicle order once we are in here, you can see all the available options that are already in the car and that has been coded to the car. Now I need to remove the cruise control 540 from what I have coded before using ThinkDiag. So edit and just uh, uncheck that from this option. And now I have to go and add 544, which is available from the base option top. Uh, you can scroll through and find 544 once you see that just check that uh, and you can see 544 added and go to it and then uh, you can go to current selection and see if it has been added so these are the only two options uh, 540 is not there for the car within so it was manually added using think type 2 so just ignore that and add this one better to use pro tool it's easy easy handy tool so 544 has been added now you have to go to actions and save it once you click on save it will ask uh, where all to uh, do the vehicle order change both locations CAS and FRM that is what you need to select so the vehicle order which has been changed is getting affected in all the modules it will affect these four control modules which you have to confirm and it will code by itself uh, after identifying so this is pretty much easy see there dsc compi ccc and hud which is heads up display because i have heads up display in my car so just recode that and confirm so it's being coded just keep in mind that whenever you are using um, even whenever you are upgrading your uh, cruise control unit you have to install uh, the instrument cluster as well which has cruise control ability in it otherwise the cruise control uh, will, won't work that's my experience I'm not a pro but uh, whatever finds uh, I'm just posting it in YouTube so please follow my videos uh, just hit the like if you like the uh, video and give a comment if you need any support from my side once you do the coding you might get a couple of errors uh, and if your con cruise control is not working just disconnect the battery for like 30 seconds and connect it back clear the codes and everything should work properly so be careful uh, whenever you are coding just go through these options and don't do anything else for cruise control